I just got back from Texas last night and it is so nice to be home because I was missing my animals, I was missing my house, I'm kind of a homebody, as you guys probably know, and Leo managed to escape my house the other day and was gone for like six hours, I wanna say, um, as I learned more about the timeline, and I was so scared. This like all happened right before I got on my flight to Texas, um, Plano, Texas, and it was, so nerve-wracking not to know where he was or what happened. I kept thinking like like a hawk had gotten him. <sighs> Turns out he had gotten out of the front door. There's a bunch of stuff on my ceiling, what the heck? Turns out he had gotten out of the front door and he was at the neighbor's house, so I'm gonna write them a thank you card for keeping him safe, but that was like so scary. So today we're back, I'm gonna film some stuff and then actually I'm, I've got a continuum treatment on my hair right now and Reyna is here to do my hair because I honestly don't know how, I don't, I don't know how to blow dry my hair. So she's out here with the pets. Frankie is like, they're obsessed with each other. Aren't you guys? We're in love. Look at that face. Look at it, just Aww. look at it. Don't you look at you, like that nose? See, now they got little collars in case they get out. Somebody will call me. Huh, this little one's got a bell on him, so we always know where he's at. Huh, you little shit. You little pooper scooper. What is it? What is it? Oh. I did something bad today. Who knows what that is? Today I have put the rescue iguana outside so he can soak up some sun. He's having a hard time with this enclosure though. He's not really under, like, can you just appreciate that you're outside? Like, I tried to do something nice and you act like you're hating it. So I'm just monitoring him to see how he's gonna be. He's been hanging off the top of this and stuff, so I thought he would just chill in here and sunbathe. Um, Usually they're in a screen cage, uh, so I might try and get one of those for him, but I am adopting him out. So uh, let's just see how he does in here for today. Is that like 99% dry? 99% yep. dry? <sighs> Hell yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, what are we doing next? Um, sit, I'm gonna round rush you. I look like Fabio. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Oh, I can't wait till my face doesn't have these giant spots anymore for my facial. Hi. So, see like this part's pretty dry. Mm -hmm. So until it always I dries it, first. Yeah, so until I round brush it, I'm actually going to take it in sections. It's a hot face, babe. Isn't it? You like that? <laughs> I like that. Should I use that for my dating profile? Yep. So what is you doing? You're doing the little circular roundy bouffanty thingy? Yeah, just for body and letting it set a little bit before I actually get to round brushing. Okay. Um, the top part of your hair, you have such fine hair that you need to. Give it a little, give it a little love. Get a little oomph. Thanks mom for that. Appreciate it so much. We're looking super good right now. Sorry, did I scare you, Leo? Leo's like, ah, what's happening? Look at Frankie. Hey. Hey. All of you, you two are so obsessed, you little attention whores. Man. So we got these up in rollers, and so basically a little recap is, if you're doing this for yourself, blow dry it. Correct me if I'm wrong at any point, Reyna. Um, okay. Blow dry it so it's like about 90% dry where it kind of feels dry to the touch but it's still the, what did you say, the cuticle is kind of wet? Yeah, so it feels kind of dry but like, you know, that kind of damp to the touch at the root just till there. Yeesh. And Yeesh. then um, put it up in little things like this and then you can even use a little diffuser. This is like a hundred step hair thing for people with extensions and thin hair problems and all that. Um, and then you diffuse it a little bit so it gets all warm and toasty and then you go do your makeup. Oh my gosh, my biceps are sore from my workout the other day. Um, and then you go put your makeup on and then you take it down and you curl certain pieces so it's kind of like summer tighter and looser and then it's gonna be tousled and beautiful. So look at this, look at this little, look at that. Look at this little butt. Look at this little tuckus. Look at this little tuckus. Hi, hi, hi. Neither of you are supposed to be on this couch. Ryan, like, is gonna. This couch is so disgusting now. Can you just. Oh, oh, you guys. Can you just see all this? Just 
Nobody cares, nobody cares. Here is the finished hair. I kind of just shoved it behind my ears because I wasn't really liking how it was like flipping out. Um, mm, this match is so bomb. Galbana, Galbani. I knocked out a video I'm gonna try and I did a review on this right here, which is, um, it's the Anastasia um, Norvina palette. There's some tea, there's some tea. There's some tea, there's some pros and cons. Right now I'm gonna try and attempt to take a selfie with Zeppelin. See how this goes. Wish me luck. I am heading to the train station here in Oceanside, and by here, I mean I'm not in Oceanside yet. Oh, I'm caught, um, I'm picking up my friend Anso, who is calling me right now. Well, let me grab this. Fancy car. Sorry, I'm late. No worries. <laughs> Do you want to put that shit in the trunk? Uh, I was going to. But... It's pretty small, but it's there. Right. So I would have brought the other car, but Ryan took it. No, this is cool. This is a badass car. Thanks. How was the train? It was cool once I got it figured out. <laughs> so I was at Bob Hope. I didn't realize it said 9.14 p.m. instead of a.m. So I'm sitting there and then the nine o'clock train left that went to Oceanside. So then I had to go to, I probably could have jumped on a train to Union Station, but I didn't want to get more fucked up. So I just <laughs> got a ride to Union Station. Finally got on, made it here. So why'd you look at the wrong time? I was stoned. <laughs> We're trying to figure out where to go now. There's some places in Encinitas that are kind of cool and there's some little shops and stuff we can walk around there and then later we can figure out what we want to do but there's this really cool new restaurant that just opened in San Marcos that I want to try. They have really good cocktails and then there's actually a really crazy bowling alley that is like a beer place and has like cornhole and all that stuff. Yeah, kind of. Where's the gas at? Gas on the other side. Okay, so we've never used this actually on our car but this was the only parking spot available, so let's try this out. My rabbits actually chewed through the cord for this. This We had one of these in our house. Okay, how does this shit work? Oh my god, it works! Does it work? I don't know, what is that? I have to pay? I gotta pay for that shit? It said 49 cents per something. Whatever, let's just like leave it plugged in to pretend like we're actually using it. <laughs> So our Bloody Mary, we got them off the Bloody Mary menu. Oh wait, I'm all fucked up. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Bloody Mary menu, and it comes with a beer chaser. Are you excited? So excited. <laughs> Mine came with shrimp on it, but no shrimp for me. Oh, fuck yeah, pickle. Mmm, tasty. So good to have it. All right, so here's our beer back. I basically just said I liked Corona. Oh my gosh, there's actually like blue cheese. Like, what is that in there, goat cheese? Cheese. Cheers. Let's try this. Mm. Oh, you lost pickle. your pickle. Pickle down. That's a sad pickle. <laughs> Five second rule. I'd have him rinse it. Oh, that's so good. How is it? Good. Oh yeah, killed it. Crushed it. Look who's home. Oh my goodness. Ready? What are you filming? Um, vlog. We're vlogging again. Oh, when did that happen? <laughs> like 24 Hi, hours vlog. ago. You ready for dinner? I'm so ready for dinner. Cool. I got like three hours of sleep last night, so I'm a bit of a zombie. Ryan went to a club in Las Vegas. Yeah. There's a meme that I downloaded. It's like when you go out and then you realize exactly why you don't go out, but it's way funnier wording. I just kind of fucked that up. But. I also don't drink, so makes it really you interesting. Drank too? No, I didn't drink. Oh. <laughs> I drank water. But clubs go downhill quick and if you're sober, it's a whole different experience. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Just dropped Anthony off back at the train station. We had like a lovely bonfire last night. Now I'm going to try I'm still in a bathing suit. We went to the pool. I'm going to try and hit this like fruit and veggie stand over towards the gym on the way back home. I want to see if they have really good like fruit and stuff. I'm going to attempt to make Ryan some like strawberry jam. We're going to see how this goes, but that's the plan. We're going to look at a country club near our house to see if we want to join 
Um, I thought it would be kind of fun because they do like charity dinners and like member dinners and fun stuff and we don't really have any friends in San Diego. Uh, and the friends that we do have have children and we never get to see them. Wish us luck. I'll update you guys later on this. I'm looking really good right now. Today is my dad's 60th birthday and I'm in such a rush to get ready to go see him. Um, we're gonna go see Frankie Valley tonight. I haven't vlogged for the past couple days. Honestly, I've just been so freaking busy that it didn't even cross my mind. Also, like getting back into the vlogging spirit is sometimes a little hard because you forget that you're vlogging again. So I got this awesome uh, carrot cake for my dad. We got to pick that up on the way. Ryan just filmed a video in here. He was like, oh my gosh, I feel so bad for you. It's so hot in here. I was like, yeah. I like what I'm doing with my hair. I'm trying a little something new. All right, we're getting beer down here. I think I need Corona Light up there. What the hell is Corona Premier? 90 calories. Let's try it. What makes it Premier? I don't know. It's lighter than light. It's light only. Has, light has 99 calories. Ooh, nine less calories. <laughs> this is really good. That means every 10 beers you drink, that's 100 calories. <laughs> so this was the only lipstick I had in the car and it doesn't match my eyeshadow look like at all. But that's what we're working with today, folks. Okay, we found the right card. You know what the greatest thing about being our age is? We did most of our stupid things before social media. You and I can relate to this, right? Definitely. Thank God. I haven't seen my little sister in so long. <laughs> she lives in Germany. So nice of you to grace us with your presence. Oh my gosh, you're not shying away from the camera right now. What's happening? Mm -hmm. Are you all grown up? Because you're ah! pointing it at my face, I can't escape it. I oh, know. We have arrived, I gotta go find the birthday boy. Ray, you look lonely over there. I am. One is you're the loneliest number. Because so, you weren't yesterday. Are you ready for your cake? You still remember what cake is? Uh, no way. <laughs> <laughs> you said clear spot and send me Yeah, you got a clear spot for that cake. Take a few deep breaths, get your lungs ready. <laughs> That's not a deep breath. It's a deep drink. <laughs> One, okay. Two, three. Ready? Oh, oh shit. Oh. Okay, wait. This is a debacle is for sure. Oh, no no wax on my cake. Sweat. Get it together, ladies. Yeah. It's the fan. Oh my How do you turn it off? How many Whartons does it take to light a candle? <laughs> you gotta get in there, right? <laughs> Yeah, you better move you on. Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Move your beard, Dad. Happy birthday, dear Ray. Happy birthday to you. Yeah. I expect you to try. You've got it. Go out and then make a <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm getting ready to drive back out to my parents' house. My grandmother's sister passed away, sadly, so we are doing a celebration of life. My parents live like an hour away, so we went there yesterday for my dad's birthday, headed back out. I'm a little late. Ryan's reaching onto the desk. <laughs> what did you get? Your oil? My marula oil. Oh yes, he put a video about this stuff on his Instagram. So I'm just putting on some like super light, simple makeup because I don't really have a whole lot of time to do anything. Most importantly, I have to have some lips on. So I don't, what am I gonna do? I have a whole thing of lipstick over here. Uh, I don't know, this all needs to be put away, but it's just like, what are we gonna do? So I'm gonna put some lipstick on, go to this, and I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. If you do and you want more weekly vlogs, I feel like I kind of sucked at this one. The others will be more interesting. Let me know in the comments, give this video a thumbs up. 
up and um, we will catch you next week. Bye guys.